Praise the Lord. We welcome you all to the English Sunday School uh, for the kids, those who are gathered here and those who are watching in online. Uh, this is the time to praise and worship our Lord. Let us close our eyes, bow down our head with a word of prayer. Let's stand up and praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus, we worship you, Lord. Thanks for giving us this wonderful day. Hallelujah. We worship your holy name. Emmanuel, God with us. Hallelujah. Lord, share your, your blessed presence in us, O oh Father. Please bless each one of us, those who are gathered in here, in this presence, O oh Father, to bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship your wonderful name. Blessed Redeemer, we worship your wonderful name, O oh Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we are gathered in oneness of mind, soul, with one accord to praise and worship our Lord Jesus. Let us open our mouth and praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You deserve all our praises and glory. Lord of Lords, we worship your holy name, O oh Father. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. We worship your wonderful name. What a beautiful name we praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Miraculous Father, we worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God says, give praise to God in all circumstances. As we are standing by His divine grace, now is the time to open our mouth and lift the praises to the highest heaven. Hallelujah. We have to enter the gates with thanksgiving in our heart to praise His holy name. Hallelujah. We worship, we worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord of Lords, Emmanuel. We worship your wonderful name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to Father God. Holy Spirit be with us, Lord. Amen. Guide us, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, enlighten our souls. Grant us according to the riches of your glory. Give us a progress in our spirituality, O oh Father. Open our inner hearts and minds so that we can understand the word in a deeper sense, O oh Father. Hallelujah. We praise your holy name. Amen. Hallelujah. El Shaddai, Alpha, Omega. We worship your wonderful name. Hallelujah. You are our rock of salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Enlight our words, Lord. Enlight your, enlight our hearts with your spiritual words, O oh Father. Open our hearts, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's all stand up in God's presence, raise our hands and worship God. Hallelujah. Let us invite His presence uh, in the midst of us. Hallelujah. Let us ask for His guidance. Let us ask for the touch of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We worship your wonderful name, O oh Father. Hallelujah. Lord, we have to experience your power right now. Hallelujah. Whoever gathered here in your presence, O oh Father, give us your guidance in our lives, O oh Father. Amen. Give us a deeper in, uh, understanding of the immensity of the Christ's love, rooted and grounded in God's love, the deeper understanding of God's love. Hallelujah. We worship your wonderful name. Amen. A song, let us sing a song and invite the Holy Spirit around us. A song goes like this. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonder of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Hallelujah. We are here by God's grace. Let everything has breath. Praise God. As said in Psalm, let us open our mouth and sing this song and invite the Holy Spirit in our midst. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you.
of spirit and mind lord bless us each one of us those who are standing here we are praying for the kids those who are yet to come for the english sunday school in each part let your name be glorified of oh father holy spirit take control hallelujah as we are gathered in oneness of mind we stand before you holy spirit as we gather together in your name with you alone to guide us make yourself at home in our hearts In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Please be seated in God's presence. So today we are going to study uh, in the theme, the light of empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Last week uh, we studied about the prayer, that is, light of humility, on the parable of Jesus Christ, uh, what Jesus told to his disciples. about the parable of the tax collector and the pharisee and uh, whose prayers was answered and we understood about what is right before god hallelujah so we think that what we are doing everything is pleasing to god but according to god's side whatever is pleasing to him that is that is what we have to do uh, last week we uh, i told you about the qualities of the tax collector as well as the qualities of the pharisee so at last in the conclusion prayer we pray to god to give all the qualities of the tax collector the one main highlighting quality of the tax gatherer was uh, the humble heart hallelujah so today as i told you earlier we are going to study on the topic light of empowerment of the holy spirit so in psalm 62 11 we read god has spoken once and twice i have heard this that the power belongs to god hallelujah uh, we are what is a concept of empowerment means uh, we are going to see the deep analogy the analysis of the holy spirit how he enlights our heart everything we are going to study today through this topic on the story of nicodemus in john the uh, gospel of john chapter 3 verses to 1 um, about the conversation of jesus with nicodemus hallelujah have you ever heard about this uh, person's name yes you would have studied but today we are going to study a deeper uh, study on this concept because he was eager to Uh, study more okay so in one night uh, the bible passage explains that in one night this person nicodemus went to jesus and he was telling i know that you are the lord of god uh, uh, he was confessing and he was having something in his heart so jesus understand that what he is having so he told without uh, that is the the regeneration that is the new birth in uh, christ we know about two birth one is a physical birth and uh, today what we are going to study is about the spiritual birth hallelujah that is the story of nicodemus and in ephesians chapter 3 verses to 14 and 19 we read that grant you to be the strengthened with power through his spirit in our in in your inner being christ may dwell in your hearts through faith so that you may be filled with all the fullness of god so the god works in our inner beings and he dwells inside our heart hallelujah so uh, i'm keep on uh, explaining you about the uh, title today as i told earlier we are going to study about the empowerment of the holy spirit 
the story of Nicodemus in uh, John chapter 3. Okay, so let us with a prayerful heart, let us ask God, Lord speak uh, to me through your word. Hallelujah. Yes, today the God is going to touch us. The Holy Spirit is going to touch us with his word and make us to enlighten by his words that is very important each and every uh, sunday school we are studying a, a beautiful lessons spiritually physically god is helping us to understand more hallelujah amen so likewise today also uh, with prayers we have to see the nicodemus heart was filled with uh, uh, the thing to be understand how to inherit the kingdom of god so jesus understood what he want to ask so uh, that man, uh, Nicodemus, got the answer from the God how to inherit the kingdom of God. That is what we read in the theme verse of John 3.3. 3. Jesus answered and said to him, More assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So here we are going to study. Today, uh, Aishwarya is going to explain to us about the uh, the regeneration it is rebirth the physical uh, birth is different from the spiritual birth how we are being born uh, because we are belong to the kingdom of god hallelujah can i hear a louder hallelujah now we are in the earthly kingdom but we all belong to heavenly kingdom but how jesus told to nicodemus in uh, john 3 3 unless i say to you one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of God. So in this discussion, Nicodemus is asking Jesus how a man can again be born. So Jesus is giving a very uh, beautiful explanation. All these things we are going to study today. Okay. So um, the Lord sees not the man sees. The Lord looks on the heart. 1 Samuel 16.7 the Holy Spirit strengthens our heart through faith and the definition for the empowerment of the Holy Spirit is the power of which Jesus spoke in another than the Holy Spirit himself who personally fills Christian believer with a measure of his presence and who empower them for the gospel ministry. Okay, so today we are going to see everything. Before that, we can start with the praise and worship. I invite uh, Sister Chaba and team to lead us in the praise and worship session. Let us all clap our hands and welcome them. Jesus down in my heart, went down in my heart, went down in my heart. I got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart, down in my heart to say, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. How many of you know this song? We already learned this, right? Yes? Can you all stand up? Just two stanzas, okay? I've got the joy, joy, joy down in my heart. Next one, I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart, okay? Everybody, will you sing with us? Yes? Okay. Yeah, can you all clap your hands? I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Red down in my heart. Red down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. Love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus. 
Jesus down in my heart Went down in my heart Went down in my heart I've got the love of Jesus Love of Jesus down in my heart Down in my heart to stay And I'm so happy So very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart And I'm so happy So very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart I've got joy I've got the joy, 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 joy Down in my heart Wet down in my heart Wet down in my heart I've got the joy, 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 joy Down in my heart Down in my heart To stay And I'm so happy So very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart Everybody And I'm so happy So very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart I've got the love of Jesus Love of Jesus down in my heart Wet down in my heart Wet down in my heart I've got the love of Jesus Love of Jesus down in my heart Down in my heart to stay And I'm so happy So very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart And I'm so happy So very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart I'm so happy And I'm so happy So very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart Hallelujah! Louder! Hallelujah! Okay, one more song we are going to sing Last week we learned Do Lord, oh do Lord, do remember me How many of you remember this song? Yes? Okay Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me Way beyond the blue, everybody Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me I've got a home in a glory land that outshines the sun. I've got a home in a glory land that outshines the sun. I've got a home in a glory land that outshines the sun. Way beyond the blue, do Lord, do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Can you all sing it louder? Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me Way beyond the blue I took Jesus I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him to Way beyond the blue, I took Jesus I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him to I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him to I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him to Way beyond the blue, everybody do Lord Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do I've got a home in a glory land that outshines the sun. I've 
I've got a home in a glory land that outshines the sun. I've got a home in a glory land that outshines the sun. Way beyond the blue on what time? I've got a home in a glory land that outshines the sun. I've got a home in a glory land that outshines the sun. I've got a home in a glory land that outshines the sun. Way beyond the bloom. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Way beyond the bloom. Do Lord, oh do Lord. Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. Way beyond the blue one more time. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. of heaven so each and every day we are coming to God's presence to enlighten our soul with the word of God and today also God is going to speak through us through his word amen hallelujah so that is what a very beautiful song uh, she taught you so um, I repeat I want to uh, tell the song team to stay back till this uh, service ends 
okay don't go back in between so those who are coming for the english sunday school please stay back till the end okay uh, this is told by our beloved pastor okay so in romans 12 chapter 1 and 2 we read about the transformation and also about the renewal of mind this is also somewhat um, related to the concept we are going to study today hallelujah boys are you all happy in god's presence can i hear a louder hallelujah amen hallelujah yes god is there with us holy spirit is going to enlighten your spirits with this word and today we are going to study a new uh, thing concept about new birth in uh, christ it is the spiritual birth okay now we are moving on to the fun activity session okay we want all of you to participate in this so i uh, sister madhi sister will volunteer and uh, by holding a craft that is a chart related to the concept okay i'll tell you seven foundations uh, for the christianity so uh, some pictures are related to that and the concepts are written in the small flash cards so after teaching to you some uh, students from girls and boys should come friend and you have to, according to the picture you have to stick okay so the first one is repentance hallelujah so when you are coming to christ when you repent for your own sins as we gathered uh, in god's presence when we humble ourselves um, sister can you show that picture to the kids so the first picture let me teach you first this picture can it all see yes can you able to see this yes so the first picture there uh, tells about the repentance okay so last week we studied about uh, how we uh, we should repent ourselves before god how we should humble the prayer of the tax collector he was beating in his chest that uh, i am a sinner lord have mercy on me so that prayer of the tax gatherer jesus heard so the first foundation in christianity is repentance we should ask repent uh, that is we should repent and ask mercy we should receive god's salvation that is what all are preaching the disciples were preaching about that jesus first ministry was about the repentance and uh, um, that is uh, john the baptist his ministry also full and full if you read about all the words he did everything is about repentance okay and the second picture this what is this can you anyone identify and tell me what is the second picture related to yes baptism yes so without uh, when jesus when nicodemus was asking the question and jesus told him the answer that unless who is born again it is unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of god again he says that he was Uh, that is born again means for sin uh, when we uh, offer our body as a living sacrifice into the hands of god uh, god forgives our sin because he uh, in um, the crucifixion the lord conquered all our sins hallelujah hallelujah can i hear a louder hallelujah so this is a foundation of christianity that we should get baptized in water in the name of father god uh, the spirit and the holy spirit and uh, jesus the tr- the true in god that is the trinity we should be baptized in the name of jesus god and the holy spirit okay that is the second foundation and the third one is dow what is dow resembles holy spirit who told that okay very good can you uh, can you give a clap to him for uh, telling the correct answer okay so after you been baptized jesus gives us the gift of the holy spirit hallelujah so we received today also who want to receive the touch of the holy spirit can you raise your hands and say louder amen hallelujah so that is the third foundation see without these things you cannot inherit the kingdom that is the eternity the kingdom of god okay so first you have to repent for your sin repentance 
that is the atonement of sins okay the second category is about what what is the second one baptism and what is the third one huh yes we should you should pray okay you should pray lord give me the power give me the gift of the holy spirit okay and then this is the picture of the crucifixion of jesus this tells about that our body is the temple of god can you open your mouth and tell a body is a temple of god okay so jesus gave his life for us to make our body as a temple to dwell inside our hearts and uh, make us a people uh, to do uh, to do god's work and uh, as i told you earlier we are the people of kingdom of heaven okay so what is this picture related to what is the concept we are the holy temple can you open your mouth and tell yes that is what the game you are going to play now okay first is repentance second is i mean uh, baptism holy spirit and temple and and then the life of separation okay so when you come to christ you should uh, you should live a life of separation hallelujah can you open your mouth and tell life of separation okay there should be there, there should be one difference between the previous life because uh, in david says in psalm that i'm born in sin my mother conceived me in sin so we all have the forefather sin uh, in our uh, ways okay so we have to confess each and every sin and then only we can receive the salvation according to romans 10 and 10 okay so uh, the life of separation is very much important okay we should not live like the worldly people live uh, in psalm 11 we read isn't it like how they spend times we cannot spend time so godly people have a special life if you receive the holy spirit only you can live a life of separation okay and then this all in small uh, sunday school they used to teach you god will give you the fruits of the spirit plus the gifts of the spirit how many uh, fruits of spirit are there nine okay how many gifts of spirit is there you don't know what are the gifts of spirit okay in which particular chapter you read about the gifts of the spirit apostle paul tells about the gifts of spirit in which particular in old testament or in new testament a uh, new testament which chapter yes corinthians okay in first corinthians 12 chapter 13 chapter we read about um, and also the, uh, uh, when i am speaking about the fruits of the spirit is not only the uh, nine fruits but also there is a fruits of repentance uh, many fruits are there the lips that is the the praises which comes from our mouth that is also the fruit okay so likewise five uh, kinds of fruits we should produce to god after becoming the people of god okay i will tell you i will explain to that uh, what are the kinds of fruits we should give in uh, later classes and then last is belongs to the heavenly kingdom okay now i taught you about everything which picture you have to uh, everything is written in small papers now according to that uh, you have to arrange this is a game okay we'll see uh, how many time did a uh, boys team takes and how many time girls take and according to that we'll decide the winners yes okay so uh, boys can you come friend please don't waste time time is running out so at uh, sharp 4 o'clock i should give the time for the teaching part only two boys are coming yes yes come come joseph come pinky come if you are not coming then i call your names okay john is arun come sam okay do you understand yes do you understand see uh, sister madhi sister will volunteer uh, you how to uh, stick the papers okay so many uh, small children all, all is there adults or uh, children is also there so you adult children help the small children to take that and uh, stick in the chart according to the order i told okay so benison uh, can you put some music to that to make the game interesting yes and anyone um, evangelin can you see the time how many time did this boy take to finish this 
task okay so uh, the fun activity starts with the boys are you ready yes are you ready to play do you understand what i told yes according to that picture if it is for the fruits of spirit there will be written okay that you have to take and stick on that uh, you go and see what is there written go and see what is written so that the game will be easy and you can uh, not now not now when i tell 1 2 3 start you have to start but before that you understand the game see what is written there adult children can you take that and explain to the small children yes each and every time when you come to english sunday school you should understand the concept what we are studying so today the concept is about the empowerment of the holy spirit we are studying about the story of nicodemus okay so he was a pharisee and how that pharisee got an understanding okay not it started but you have to okay do you have a better understanding now yes joseph okay now not it started keep there keep there i i told just to see okay before that you finished okay you finished uh okay how many time did they take ha huh? 25 seconds only 25 seconds okay so uh, please show that sister to me whether i'll see whether it is correct or not correct uh, repentance baptism holy spirit body okay the uh, salvation okay very good let us give one claps to boys they finished within 30 seconds okay now now we can see how girls do very simple activity isn't it only eight concepts are there okay girls can you come can you come yes all come kiruba come come friend yes sharan ashmita come come friend okay so time starts see only three of you okay um uh, time starts now yes let us see how many times you take to finish so while uh, while you do this you understand the concept of light of empowerment of the holy spirit okay so these are the foundation of christianity finished how many time 17 seconds so girls are very fast okay so the winners are the girls so clap the hands why you not clapping encourage them okay so uh so we finished our fun activity thank you sister madhi sister for the volunteering us uh for the fun activity okay so today as i told uh, earlier we are going to study about nicodemus in the gospel of john chapter 3 um uh, sister rosaline uh, can you distribute all the passage the bible passage to the children okay bible passage plus the memory verse crafts okay so today we are going to study about the character of nicodemus the curiosity he had for jesus his concern and about the conversation between jesus and nicodemus everything is said in john chapter 3 okay now you will receive a, a paper with the bible scripture okay so you please listen to that what is written in that scripture okay and uh, now i invite sister aishwarya to come front and she will teach you about that let's all clap our hands and welcome her praise the lord is everybody happy today can i hear a shout hallelujah louder hallelujah four times four times everybody is happy right are you ready to go into the story session and learn something who all know the story of nicodemus does anybody know the story of nicodemus okay so today will be the story time 
So yes, um, what is today's theme? Louder? Today's theme from the boys' side. Yes, yes, tell me fast, quickly. Light of empowerment of Holy Spirit. Okay, so that's today's uh, theme. And we'll be learning about uh, being born again by Holy Spirit. So your lifestyle will change. So you can experience the kingdom of God. Who and all wants to experience the kingdom of God? Can you lift your hands up? Okay, I think everybody. Yes, right? Okay. So yes, so I will be narrating a short story about which is the story of Nicodemus and Jesus. They had a conversation. So this is this, this is just a narration of a very huge story in the Bible, which is a very famous scripture verse that everybody knows. Who who has recently got salva salvation? Everybody will know that um, verse. So yeah, so this story is found in the Bible. It's in the Gospel of John. So, uh, Jesus was in, so I'm just narrating this short story, okay? So, Jesus at this time was in Jerusalem for a Passover feast. And one night, a religious man called Nicodemus came that way. So, he wanted to visit Jesus. So, Nicodemus is from the Pharisees. He is a Pharisee. So, Pharisees are people who study God's law, but they are against Jesus and his teachings. So, these are Pharisees. So one of the Pharisee was curious, that is Nicodemus. So Nicodemus, when it was late in the night, when nobody can notice him, he went to Jesus, knocked the door, and when he went inside, he wanted to know more about Jesus because Jesus was doing a lot of miracles in Jerusalem. He was, uh, you know, he was healing people who, with blind, who were blind, who were lame. He brought dead people into our life. So he was very curious to know what Jesus was doing. And uh, he wanted to know because he was thinking only a man of God can do such miracles. So now he goes and he says, he said, Rabbi. Rabbi means it's the other name for Jesus. We know that you are the teacher who, who has come from God and no one else can do such miracles unless he comes from God. Jesus replies, unless someone is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So he makes a statement that whoever, only if you are born again, you will see the kingdom of God. So now Nicodemus is very confused because he's already a grown up. We will also think the same, right? If somebody says born again means what will we think? We will think we have to go again to mother's womb and come back. Is this what we think? So Nicodemus also had this thought because he is also human, right? So he had this thought. His thought that... Um, Keeping, uh, so Nicodemus, he kept all God's laws. He uh, obeyed every of his laws. He was very, you know, very curious to uh, fulfill all the laws. And he wanted kingdom of heaven. But then what Jesus told him was little puzzling. So he was like, what is this going on? Like, uh, uh, why would I be born again? Will I be inside a mother's womb? Even when I grow up, how can I go inside a mother's womb and be born again? So Jesus is just giving him an explanation. Uh, saying that, Jesus said again, so when a person cannot enter the kingdom of heaven unless he is born again of the water and spirit. So he says both of these, which is water means the water baptism and the spirit uh, being born again by the spirit is uh, when, when the spirit has its control over us. The Holy Spirit comes inside us through Jesus Christ. That is when our spirit is being born again. Okay, so he uh, also says a small example so Nicodemus can understand. He quotes an example saying, when a wind blows, can we all see the wind? Can you can you see the wind? Can you hold it in your hand? This fan is giving some wind, right? Can you all hold it and show it to me? No, it cannot be done. So the same way, I can see boys holding holding the wind. Okay, it cannot be done. So uh, holding the wind, it cannot be. See, you cannot see it. It can come from somewhere and go to elsewhere. So we cannot see the wind. The same way, the spirit in us cannot be seen. When you see yourself in the mirror, whom do you see? You just see the image of yourself as a body, that's all. But inside your body is where the spirit lives. So that spirit needs to be born again. We are born from our parents. Our parents give birth to us physically and that is the physical birth. So that is the, uh, you know, that is born by flesh. But 
when you are born again in Christ, you, your spirit grows into Christ. So that is what he means by being born again. So that's the example. Um, and then Nicodemus still didn't understand because he was still puzzling like, well, what is this? He was just asking himself. And then, so Jesus tells him, when you don't believe what uh, the miracles that he does and everything, if, if he can't believe that, how can he believe such things that is coming from the heaven? When he can't believe, when Jesus is giving such examples of wind and everything that is of worldly, if he can't still believe, how can he believe when there's a heavenly example? So that is what Jesus is concluding by saying that. So uh, he's also saying, do you know when Moses raised up the uh, bronze snake so in the wilderness when Moses raised up the bronze snakes when everybody saw it they were healed the same way the son of God will be raised up as the light to the whole world that everybody will get salvation out of him and through him we will have light so then Jesus told Nicodemus about God's great plan Jesus said God loved the world in such a way that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but will have an eternal life. So our eternal life, see body will die, it will die someday. But the spirit that is inside us, it has to be saved. It will have eternal life. Our, our body will have a death date but our spirit will have eternal life. This eternal life will come only through Jesus Christ. So that is what he's meaning by that. So God, he loved this world so much. He is the highest of all. He created everything. So he just can send his son down and ask, you know, he can just be a judge where he can say like, this earth is nothing, like it's just fully wrong and why can't he just destroy? That didn't happen because God loved this world so much that he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to come and tell us that this world can still go on with him. So he paid our all the prices. So this, this is the main concept that uh, God, God's love is being showed through this story. So he also says, anyone who has found him, who has found in him, if you have found yourself in Jesus Christ, you are found no guilty of your sins because your forgiveness comes through Jesus Christ. But in case if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you have been found guilty for all the sins that you've been doing. He's the only person who forgives you. This is the world that we live in. Actually, our world is, it, it is full of darkness. We are the light that has been shining. So God has sent the light to us so that we may shine through him. Correct? So, um, uh, only people who do all bad things and sinners and everybody will be in the darkness. We will be glowing in the light because we are under Jesus Christ. So this is our story's moral. So anyways, so Nicodemus needed new life, but he couldn't live uh, or do anything to earn it. Eternal life is a gift that comes from the God. It cannot be given by anybody unless and until it's Jesus Christ who gives it to you. God showed him love in this way. So uh, that is John 3.16. Can somebody read John 3.16 for me from the paper? For God so loved the world, that was John 3, 16. Louder. Thank you. So that is the verse. So that is a very famous verse that you know, God, this love cannot be compared to anybody else's love our uh, the, the god's love to us is eternal and it is one of the beautiful love that we have and because of his love we have the salvation and we inherit the kingdom of heaven by having eternal life so we can we our spirits won't die even if we die our spirits will live forever in god's presence so the same way just like a baby grows nicodemus love for jesus grew too and like Nicodemus, you can believe that Jesus is God's son. You can pray and ask him for your, uh, ask him for him to be your friend. So even if you haven't known what is born again, you can still ask God, you know, for him to enter into you and pray that he has to be your friend and uh, he will definitely be your friend. So that is it. So today's learnings is the love of God, which is uh, never ending and incomparable. 
so the love of god that we just learned now that is incomparable jesus is the only way to eternal life how many people agree to this everybody agrees right yes jesus is the only way to eternal life through nothing just attending church you cannot go to have an eternal life only when jesus comes inside you you will have an eternal life when your spirit is enlightened being born again is not an option it is mandatory being born again as a christian is a mandatory life so it is also said in john 37 do not marvel that i said to you you must be born again he says must be born again is because it is very very compulsory that you need to be born again thank you so much and, and today's uh, and today's memory verse is uh, can you all repeat repeat it after me for everyone practicing practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light least his deeds should be exposed least his deeds should be exposed okay thank you hallelujah yes can you tell a louder hallelujah yes okay so we uh, today you heard about the conversation about jesus and nicodemus in john the gospel chapter 3 verses from 3 to 20 now is the time to read the bible passage so is there anyone voluntarily willing to read the bible passage can you read not the memory verse the bible passage bible passage what you have received okay yes any adult children yes anyone can you can you read yes yes emmanuel come friend yes you only read the bible passage of today's lesson okay light of empowerment of the holy spirit while reading others listen we are not going to read all the verse we are going to read only the verses from 3 to 8 okay these are the very important words what jesus told to nicodemus okay so all uh, take the papers scripture papers given to you to john chapter 3 verses from 3 to 20 now emmanuel is going to read from verses 3 to 8 okay so listen jesus replied very truly i tell you no one can see the kingdom of god unless they are born again how can someone be born when they are old nicodemus asked surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb and to be born jesus answered very truly i tell you no one can enter the kingdom of god unless they are born of water and the spirit flesh gives birth to flesh but the spirit gives birth to spirit you should not be surprised at my saying you must be born again the wind blows wherever it pleases you hear its sound but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going so it is with everyone born of the spirit okay thank you can you give a clap to emmanuel for the bible passage reading okay now i'll give uh, now you're going to do some work okay now you have this bible passage right now you listen now uh, how many times the word born again comes okay how many times the word born again comes in this scripture can any one of you underline and tell me how many times the word born again comes in this scripture if you are uh, if you read from verse 3 to verse 20 the person who is telling first how many times the word born again comes i hope you all listened to what emmanuel read right now okay so this whole scripture that is from verses 3 to 20 uh, is been uh, subdivided into three titles the sinner's worry the savior's way and the spirit work okay 
uh, if you want to take notes can you can take notes and now after the teaching i'll ask you some questions and you will have beautiful prizes okay so this passage how many times jesus speaks about born again okay so the person telling correct answer will receive the prize did you find out children yes underline if you have pen underline and how many times the word born again comes here and those who are telling correct answer will receive the prize okay so write the three category of this uh, full passage is been divided into three subtitles sinner that is the nicodemus he had a uh, urge to ask to jesus about how to inherit the kingdom of god that is the sinner's worry and savior's way so savior told that is uh, who is our savior who is our savior jesus christ so what did jesus answered can any one of the girls or boys stand up and tell what is the theme verse we read today what is the theme verse of today's lesson is on john 3 3 very truly i tell to you no one can see the kingdom of god unless they were born again so he was telling about uh, that verse 5 very truly i tell you no one can enter the kingdom of god unless they are born of water and spirit yes only two times only born again two times comes uh, sharon is telling three times only two times no okay it's keep on you search till the english sunday school ends okay born again born again the word born again if you see the passage many times it comes okay i hope you all should wear spectacles because can't able to read properly okay you are telling two times and she told three times but i uh, i calculated one particular number so let me see who is finding out correctly okay so now keep that okay how many time four times see he found out four times okay so what happened to those who find only two times so i hope you are, you want to wear spectacles can't able to see properly yes okay aron you find how many times only two times okay only one time okay very good okay keep on searching okay until those who tell me the correct answer will receive a very beautiful prize okay so now i'll tell you some important things the person nicodemus okay after telling i will ask questions okay boys please listen okay we later on we can see to that i'll give you one 10 minute 10 more minutes to find that okay now i'll refresh you with some important points about nicodemus okay how many time this person nicodemus appears in the gospel of john do you have answer for this question nicodemus today the the hero of our story what was his name nicodemus okay in gospel of john we are reading about this person in how many times bible explains about nicodemus any scholars in bible yes no how many times it comes again those who are telling correct answer will receive a prize no you are not reading the bible yes one time is in john what we read today john chapter 3 verses we read about nicodemus okay and second time in john 7 okay uh, do you have your english bible those who brought your bible show the bible yes those who brought the english bible show to me only one person okay all take john chapter 7 verses from 50 to 51 the second time mentioned of nicodemus reminds he reminds his colleagues in sanhedrin that the law requires that the person be uh, before it is heard before judged okay so here also we read about this nicodemus so second time how many time 
first time in john chapter 3 and john chapter 7 we read about this again this person the pharisee nicodemus second time and third time in john 19 okay john 19 okay john 19 verses 39 to 42 these questions i will ask next week okay now also i will ask and give you the prizes next week also i will ask a question the the listener properly those who are listening carefully okay here finally nicodemus appears in the crucifixion of jesus assists joseph of arimathea in preparing the body of jesus to burial so now totally how many times this nicodemus the pharisee comes in the gospel of john yes i explained only three three times can you open your mouth and tell three times okay uh, only in three times that too in only the gospel of john we are reading about this pharisee okay uh, last week i told about many qualities of pharisee yes who are pharisee uh, can any one of you remember any one point about pharisee what did bible tells about pharisee the people scribes sadducees pharisee what did jesus tells about them do you have any uh, thing last week i told many uh, points about that okay in order to get a glimpse the best glimpse to know about pharisee can you all take uh, the bible to matthew chapter 23 please take your bible without bible uh, i i i thought to tell don't come but you should try to bring okay because only few are coming so i don't want to tell that word okay so let's all take matthew yes chapter 23 is a very uh, important chapter it is said about the pharisee okay the hypocrites the pharisee the scribes sadducees many important words are uh, said here okay this is a best glimpse okay so uh, all take matthew chapter 23 yes so before that i will ask two questions okay what now i told and uh, those who are telling will receive the prizes sister madhi sister you have prize isn't it okay how many times nicodemus comes in the gospel of john those who also know the answer should stand up with a humble heart and he should tell three times only joseph stood first so he will receive the prize okay for girls okay what is the concept we are studying today what is the concept we are studying about what we are studying what is the story about nicodemus for what purpose in what time another question in what time did nicodemus went to jesus morning time or in day time afternoon or in night time why nicodemus went at night time yes that is now i am asked for what purpose purposely he went on the night time yes is there anyone having answer no one to see jesus okay purposely went at night because no one should see him okay that he went and see jesus and he want to he had many conclude that is confusion in his mind about how to inherit the kingdom of god so jesus told all the answer hallelujah hallelujah so at last at the crucifixion of jesus also this nicodemus went what a miracle hallelujah he was a pharisee now another question another pharisee received god salvation can you tell who is what is the name of that pharisee you students of english sunday school should have some bible knowledge we have completed totally how many titles can you know what is today's title okay i am asking what how many uh, like 1 2 3 4 what is today's episode number 
Yes? Nothing for all my questions, very blank answers. No one is answering. Do you watch? Do you watch uh, what has been uploaded in English Sunday school? Who and all will watch? Oh, your mother will watch, but you won't watch. You should watch, okay? So that you will get a better understanding. Today, teaching part also, if you watch and watch again, more knowledge you will get. Hallelujah. So one Pharisee is Nicodemus. Who is another Pharisee? Ah, who told? Stand up. Yes, both of you stand up. Emmanuel and uh, Joseph. Stand. Apostle Paul is a Pharisee. Okay. All clap the hands for them. You have a good spiritual knowledge. Okay. So this Apostle Paul, he was a Pharisee. But also when he is going to the uh, Damascus on the way he met Jesus whenever I tell that uh, Acts chapter 9 my heart itself uh, gets so heavy and my eyes with tears when we read about the story of Apostle Paul Saul became Paul hallelujah likewise Nicodemus a Pharisee okay now become the disciple. Now he understood what we have to do in order to enter the kingdom of God. Okay. Now I asked one question to the girl side. Okay. I not yet received any answer. What is the concept of today's lesson? Boys, these girls are not listening properly. So better you answer. You are bright listeners. Yes. So what is the concept from the morning? Sister Aishwarya told something. And now I'm explaining about something. What is the main concept? Okay. Huh? Holy Spirit? Okay, you told the answer, Holy Spirit. Anyone? Any other any other children? What did, what did you understand from today's title? Born again. Open your mouth and tell. Born again. So you have physical birth and uh, heavenly, that is spiritual birth. Okay. Uh, those who are celebrating birthday in this month, can you stand up? February. You are celebrating your birthday? Yes? Stand up. Finished. Okay. Girls, do you remember your birthday? Yes? That is the physical birth. Okay. How, you know, how did you, uh, that is your mother, after nine months with much suffering, you were all born, even me. Okay, that is a physical birth. We all know. Likewise, only Nicodemus is also asking God. When Jesus is telling, born again, he's telling, now my years is, might be, uh, the Nicodemus years might be 45 or 65. Because he was a scholar. Pharisee, they, they study law. They were the law keepers. So, they were very, know everything about the law. So, he was a very old man, Nicodemus. So he's telling, again, how I can enter into the mother's womb. So Jesus was uh, really, I don't know how uh, that time it will be. If anyone tell like that, we used to laugh, isn't it? But Jesus told him with very simple answer, unless one is born with spirit and water, we cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sir. Uh, did them did them receive the prices, sister? Yes, please give to Joseph and um, Emmanuel and in girls. Anyone answered? No. Okay, I'll tell you some more uh, important scriptures so that you have uh, listen carefully and you will uh, surely get some prices today. Hallelujah! 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 Okay, so today's explanation is about the spiritual birth. Okay. So, there are three processes what gods do. One is the selection, election, and regeneration. That is what the today's passage about the rebirth in Christ. Okay. So, uh, this is an evangelical lingo. That is the terminology uh, what we study today. That is, we, not, we are not doing any contribution for our physical birth as well as for the uh, spiritual birth. Only Jesus gives his life. Hallelujah. Can you all give a clap offering to Jesus? Hallelujah. 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 
as what brother delights in uh, often tells us when you tell hallelujah when you clap your hands with smiles in your face you're not doing for person you're do uh, doing for the the jesus who gave his life for us hallelujah so with much uh, joy can you give a louder a clap offering to jesus clap your hands <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah okay so the terminology what we are studying today about the spiritual birth okay now do you all take matthew 23 who and all took matthew 23 in your bibles okay see there are many scriptures told about pharisee last week also i told you many things and this is the very uh, best glimpse of studying about the pharisee in the bible okay so here many verses are telling okay Uh, so what are the qualities those who telling any seven qualities of the pharisee will receive the next prize okay so please those who are not having the bible listen to what i say because you are the mind readers you can able to capture everything god has given you better skills to listen and those who are brought your english bible please take matthew chapter 23 and listen about what are the important character, uh, characteristics said about this pharisees and tell me any seven qualities okay those person who telling the correct answer uh, will receive the prize okay so in uh, matthew chapter 23 verse 6 we read that they love the place of honor at banquets and the most important seats in the synagogue okay what is the first point these pharisees last week in fun activity we studied about the qualities of pharisee and the tax collector one of the point is honor of men okay can you open your mouth and tell honor of men so wherever you go you should not uh, think that many people should honor me like that you should not think that is the quality of a pharisee okay so that is what is said in matthew, uh, matthew chapter 23 verse 6 okay they love the place of honor at banquets and the most important seats in the synagogue so okay when you come to church how you should come when you come to sunday school how you should come when you go to uh, that is which are the places you like to go who and all like to come to church hallelujah okay rather than that which are the places you like to go yes any dream any uh, dream uh, places you like to visit nothing nothing yes okay so when you go to a uh, seashore how you go with very happy mood yes you'll do some preparation to uh, go to the vacation to spend your time with uh, with, uh, with your family with your friends like that but when you come to church do you have that sort of happiness in your heart yes or no can you open your mouth and tell me the correct answer who and all came with happiness i am happy who and all telling i am happy today i am sitting in god's presence today there will be one uh, what to tell one that is god will give me uh, my names will be written in the books of heaven and the crown one pearl will be added hallelujah hallelujah who and all going to receive crowns from jesus hallelujah many crowns when jesus comes as a bridegroom to invite his bride he comes not with a empty handed he comes with lots of crowns okay so we should receive the crowns so today as you all gathered in the presence of god in order to study him in order to worship him in order to give thanks to the god today one pearl will be added in your crown are you all happy to that hallelujah what a joyful thing isn't it is or no many students or many kids or many adult children don't have this opportunity but jesus has given you in this church a big opportunity to study him to worship him to give thanks to him hallelujah hallelujah now who and all want to give thanks to the lord raise your hands and say a louder hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Amen. I am here because of the divine grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. So, uh, now uh, the craft time is, has come. Okay. So, before that, let me ask you some questions and uh, I like to give some prizes today also. Okay. So, we are not doing any contribution to our physical birth as well as spiritual birth. It is very crystal clear that the doctrine of regeneration, that is, it is also some of the fulfillment of God's commission is according to the rebirth. Okay. Now, in fun activity, we studied at seven or eight qualities. Can anyone stand up and tell what are the foundations? of Christianity. What is the first foundation? You boys and girls, you only played right now. I'm not asking which happened five years before. Okay? Only 10 or 15 minutes before. Uh, okay. In fun activity, what did you study? What are the pillars? What are the foundation of Christianity? What is the first thing? Huh? Uh, what is the second? Baptism. Okay, anyone stand up and tell all the thing what you studied in fun activity. That I can't tell. At least four. At least four. Yes. At least five. Yes. Yes, come friend and tell in mic. Let's all clap the hands for him. David. David. Are you David? You are David, right? Yes. All clap hands. Oh, his brother also came. So you both, okay, let us see. What are the points related to the Christianity? What are the seven pillars? What is the first thing we have to do when we receive Christ Jesus as our Savior? Repentance. Uh, repentance. Uh, okay, all clap the hands. First is the repentance. Okay, second, what is the second point? Do you remember what is the second point? Yes, yes what? Can anyone, boys, adult, can you help the small children? Baptism. Huh? Uh, baptism. Very good, all clap the hands. Baptism. Okay. Baptism. Baptism, very good. What is the third one? After receiving the baptism, what, what gift, what price Jesus gives us? When you tell about Holy the Holy Spirit, Spirit with much, uh, much of joy, can you tell a louder amen? Hallelujah. Do you enjoy the presence of Holy Spirit? Yes. What a beautiful gift Jesus gave us. Whenever you are in sorrow, whatever trials and temptations you come through in your life, Jesus is giving his Holy Spirit to us. Hallelujah. That is the gift. Who and all received the gift of the Holy Spirit? Can you tell a amen? Hallelujah. Who and all have a urge to receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Louder. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Okay. That is the third point. Now, first is repentance of a sin. Second is we have to be baptized. So, how many people got your baptism or not yet to be baptized? Uh, who and all willing? Can you stand up? We'll pray for you for five minutes. Those who are willing to get baptized. Yes? Ashmita, stand up. Anyone else baptized in this coming month of March? Anyone willing? Yes? Okay. Let's all close our eyes and pray for Ashmita. It's a very important covenant we do with God. That is the baptism. Okay? So open your mouth and praise God for one soul in English Sunday school was ready to give his, her life to Jesus Christ to be get baptized. Hallelujah. Let us pray to Jesus after receiving the baptism. Ashmita should be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, she should life, uh, live the life of separation. Jesus should provide her the fruits and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And she should li live a life of separation in order to inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So let's all clap hands for Ashmita. Let's all clap hands. Yes. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, your name will be written in the books of heaven. Okay. When you are doing the covenant, 
that is very important foundation in Christianity to be baptized in the name of Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. So with, uh, without baptism, that is told by Jesus to Nicodemus, without born in water and spirit, no one can enter the kingdom of God. Okay. So what is the first one, child? What is the first one? Uh, repentance. repentance. What is the second one we studied today? Baptism. What is the third one? Very important thing. Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Okay. What is the fourth one? Can adult children? Huh? Life of separation. Life of? Se separation. Very good. Life of separation. Okay. So you children are different from other children. When you go to school, okay, please listen to what I say. When you go to school or wherever you go, think that I am the child of God. Okay. I belong to heavenly kingdom. I belong to heavenly king uh, kingdom. I am being filled by the presence of God. So in that kind of heart, wherever you go, wherever you meet play, uh, people, you should have that kind of spirit. Okay. That is the fourth point. Okay, David. What is the next point? Mm -hmm. Five. Yes? Started playing. Okay, what is the next point? Five. What is the next point? First is repentance. Second is baptism. The Holy Spirit of God. Life of separation. After the life of separation, your body is changed into what? Temple of God. Can you open your mouth and tell? Uh, open your mouth and tell? Temple of Temple God. Of Temple God. of God. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. Can all raise yes. your hands? All raise your hands and uh, tell me, repeat after me. My body. My body. Tell, open your mouth and tell, my body. God is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Is a temple of the Holy yes. Spirit. Yes or no? Jesus has to witness that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Okay, what after that what? After our body becomes a temple of the God, what did Holy Spirit gives us? What did Holy Spirit gives Fruit us? Of the Spirit. Very good. All clap your hands. Clap your hands. Can anyone stand up and tell the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit? What are the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit? You know any one or two? Love, joy, peace, long suffering. Uh, girls, adult children, youth, song team children. Can you know the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit? Sharon, do you know? Yes? Stand up and tell. Only one? Okay, what is that? Grace, what she tells? No, I am telling about the fruits of spirit. I know one. Ah, you know one. What is Love. it? Love. Love. Okay. Anyone else? That is I the main. Know you Love. know one? What is Love it? Love and joy. Joy. Okay. Other than that, anyone who is telling nine? Peace. Then? Love, joy, peace. Only three? Self-control. Ah, very good. Self-control. Then? Okay, very good. So after uh, living a life of separation, Jesus gives the fruit of spirit and the gifts of spirit. Hallelujah. Let us give a clap offering to the Lord. All clap your hands with a smile on your faces. Okay. So who are all going to receive fruits today? What fruit? Apple or orange? Pomegranate? Eh? Not that fruit. Okay. Today we are going to receive the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Who and all need God's love? Raise your hands and say Amen. Hallelujah. Who and all needs God's joy dwelling in your heart in all circumstances you face in your life? Yes? Okay. What is the last point? They are tired. Yes? I leave you. If you tell the last point. If you do all these things, what is the last point? Yes? Uh, heavenly kingdom. Ah, very good. Clap your hands. Sister, can you give these two children prizes? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, David and Daniel, for making this uh, interesting segment. Okay. So both David and Daniel today, they explained about the nine spiritual gifts and also the seven foundation of Christianity. Okay. So you should not forget when you are in deep sleep also, if anyone asked, you should 
Open your mouth and tell the answer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tell a louder hallelujah? Okay. So now is the craft time. So uh, Rosalind, come front. And let's all clap hands for Rosalind Akka. She will come front and she will tell you about what we are going to do today. So better all bring your craft notes. Okay. I hope all you received this paper, right? All you received this paper? Okay. This paper, you have to see this uh, two picture in this paper, right? Today's craft was, you have to find this eight difference about these two pictures. This is... Find this now. Eight difference. I hope it's easy. Finished? Who are all finished? Raise your hands. How many difference you find? Eight? You have to see the stars also. Finish? Okay. Those who are finished, give to me. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Oh, God, I don't know what's going on. Seven. Here it goes. Thank you. So thank you, Rosalind, for the interesting craft session. So Madhi sister give uh, gifts to uh, Joseph is receiving more gifts today, and Pinky for um, participation in the craft and find out eight spot difference. Okay, only boys came. Any girls finished? Any, own, any of you spot eight difference? Kirba, you finished? Yes. Uh, give one gift to Kirba also. And check, check, sister. Okay. So, we had today a fun time. Teaching part. Very interesting songs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. So, before ending, uh, before our conclusion prayer, now we are going to sing the song again. That is, I invite the song team to come front because on the opening part, many children were not there. So, one song, uh, that is today, two songs they sang. Hallelujah. Do you enjoy singing songs to the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, yes, do you enjoy doing actions? 
Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes? Hallelujah. Okay, one song, song team is going to sing now. Okay, now with full energy, okay, with full energy, you are going to sing. We are, we are going to decide whether it is boys or girls going to sing now. Okay, so let's all clap our hands and invite our song team again. Okay, can you all stand up? We are going to sing the song, Do Lord, Oh Do Lord, Oh Do Remember Me. Okay? How many of you are ready to do the action? Boys, ready? Boys, ready? Yes. Girls, ready? Yes? Yes. You can. Lord. Can you all clap your hands? Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Way beyond the blue. Everybody, can you sing it louder? I've got a home in a glory land that outshines the sun. I've got a home in a glory land that outshines the sun. Way beyond the blue. One more time. I've got a home in a glory land that outshines the sun. I've got a home in a glory land that outshines the sun. I've got a home in a glory land that outshines the sun. Way beyond the blue. Can you sing it louder? Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Do Lord, oh do Lord, oh do remember me. Way beyond the blue, I took Jesus. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him too. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him to way beyond the blue one more time. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him to. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him to. I took Jesus as my Savior, you take him to way beyond the blue. Do Lord, oh do Lord. Now, a uh, few pictures will be displayed in the television uh, regarding to the fun activity session. So, related to the pictures, the eight foundations of Christianity I told you, uh, those person who finding out will receive the prizes and after that we can conclude our uh, English Sunday School with a word of prayer. Okay. Can you have uh, display the pictures. Yes. Uh, okay. What, this is the first picture. What is this related to? Huh? Uh, stand up and tell. Repentance. Okay. Second picture. Okay. It is in the order. Divya, it is in order. <laughs> okay. Oh. Third one. So I can't give any prices. Okay. Just to recall. Then. 
वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट वन फ्रूट फ्रूट ऑफ रिपेंडेंस के फर्स्ट वन यू टोल्ड करेक्टली सेकेंड गिफ्ट ऑफ द होली स्प्रिट वॉट इज द फोर्थ पॉइंट वॉट डिड यू ऑब्जर्व इन दिस देर इज सर्टन डिफरेंस सो वॉट इज द फोर्थ पॉइंट सी नाउ ओनली आई एक्सप्लेन यू लाइफ ऑफ सेपरेशन ओके नेक्स्ट सो वेन यू रिसीव वॉट द फ्रूट्स and the gifts of the holy spirit you will start doing the works of heavenly kingdom hallelujah are you all happy to do work for god jesus hallelujah hallelujah when you do work, that is good works you have started your ministry okay you started the works for heavenly kingdom and whatever you do everything will be in the account okay next picture that's all okay so if you do all these things what is the last point i told you will inherit the heavenly kingdom okay so now all stand up stand up in god's presence okay so today jesus taught us about the empowerment of the holy spirit okay now very strictly i am telling no one should talk with your neighbor okay this is the time you should give your heart your body if you want to make your body as a temple of god whenever this opportunity comes the conclusion prayer is very important a part this is the transformation what holy spirit is doing in your life okay so all close your eyes bow down your head with a humble heart join your hands kids join your hands you should study the posture of prayer okay you should stand straight no leaning down no leaning down on chairs or on your neighbors stand straight stand straight in god's presence with a humble heart join your hands all has two hands isn't it join your two hands bow down your head bow down don't look here and there jesus sees your heart man see the face but jesus searches your heart he know with what humbleness you come before the lord open your mouth and praise god whatever you know what are the names you know about jesus christ no one should open your eyes If anyone is opening your eyes you should you should come in the front and pray with me I'll give you the mic you can lead the children in prayer okay so no playing there is a time for play there is a time to pray now is the time to pray so open your mouth and praise god all open your mouth and praise god you know how to praise god open your mouth and tell jesus christ holy father thanks for giving this wonderful day to praise i am standing here in the presence of god to worship your wonderful name what a beautiful name we worship our lord jesus christ today we studied about the story of nicodemus we studied about the spiritual birth lord touch me lord empower me with your holy spirit I should receive your anointing those who are not yet received the anointing you cannot be able to inherit the kingdom of god unless you are born in spirit and in water you cannot inherit that is what jesus told to the pharisee the nicodemus so you open your mouth and ask of the touch of the holy spirit lord touch me with your hand are you able to feel your presence raise your hands now all raise your hands to mighty heavens all raise your hands don't open your eyes i'm keep on watching you i'm in a position i want to make you to worship god all raise your hands open your mouth and praise god raise your hands and praise god praise jesus blessed redeemer we worship you like that or give thanks to all the wonderful things what god has done in your life god has given you spiritual mother spiritual father church good education god has provided you with all whatever you need god has given you good life the breath in your nostril 
now you have been breathing all the parts are working beautifully everything god has given us to praise his holy name let everything that has breath praise god let us all open our mouth and praise god let us give thanks for his wonderful works what he is doing in our life today lord touch me lord touch my inner soul i should be rooted in god's love let us ask for that hallelujah we should experience the spirit's power lord i should be grounded in your love i should be rooted in your love give me the deeper understanding of how you love me lord jesus raise your hands and say lord i love you jesus i love you with whole heart i submit my body as a living sacrifice into your hands o oh father accept me use me to your heavenly kingdom to reach many souls to testify you hallelujah hallelujah i submit my body i submit my mind my spirit into your hands o oh father use me as a vessel in your hand use me as a instrument in your hand use me as a blessing to many people hallelujah open your mouth and ask god with a thankfulness we have to enter his kingdom we have to enter his gates with thanksgiving in our heart open your mouth and give thanks for each and every circumstances what god is leading lord is making us to enable us to conquer everything what we are uh, doing in our life he is giving us the ability to conquer hallelujah lord strengthen my inner soul strengthen my inner heart open your mouth and ask god hallelujah blessed savior you are a rock of our salvation you are the anchor of our soul you are the rock of our salvation we we praise you holy of holy hallelujah lord of lord lord of host king of kings lord of lords we worship your holy name emmanuel we worship your name hallelujah what a wonderful god we serve he dwell in the holiness let your mouth be filled with praises of god open your mouth and praise god open your mouth children children all little children and adult children and whoever in this church right now raise your hands and open your mouth and praise him hallelujah thank you jesus thank you wonderful god wonderful savior we praise your holy name hallelujah thanks for giving us this beautiful church to worship you thanks for giving me your divine grace lord hallelujah thanks for giving me a purpose in my life i should understand the will for what purpose i'm living for what purpose you have selected me i am working for your heavenly kingdom i'm belonging to your kingdom of father hallelujah i submit myself into your precious hands lord use me lord use me open your mouth and ask god hallelujah hallelujah lord i should spread the gospel to other unreached souls i should pray with the soul burden for the unreached children last week we prayed for all the small kids adults in the syria and turkey we have lord gave us a wonderful prayer time i able to feel the presence of god right now many kids are are praying to god in the spirit hallelujah thank you god for touching each one of us those who are praising you hallelujah give the thankfulness in our heart of oh father hallelujah 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 amen amen hallelujah let us sing hallelujah to the lord sing hallelujah because god has risen from the dead let us think about the crucifixion of jesus in the cross god has given his blood with his precious blood he cleansed our hearts with the sin and make us a purified soul to enter into the kingdom of god let us bring the presence of the holy spirit in our midst let us open and invite holy spirit lord dwell in my heart lord as a humble soul i submit my body into your hand dwell inside my heart lord hallelujah i'm going to sing hallelujah amen with your hands raised let's all open your mouth and sing this beautiful song with me hallelujah hallelujah glory to jesus
raise your hands and say, Jesus has risen from the dead. Jesus is risen. Jesus is risen. Jesus is risen from the dead. Jesus is reigning in my heart. and sing. Sing hallelujah to the of the Holy Spirit moving in our midst of Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May Christ shield us in your ways. May the Spirit bring us healing and peace. May the Trinity God drive all the darkness from us. Open our spiritual eyes to enable us to get touched with God is doing and how he's going to doing it. As we study today, Lord, give us the light of empowerment of the Holy Spirit. We study how to be born in spirit by the story of Nicodemus in John chapter 3. Thanks for giving us this title. In the precious name of our Heavenly Father we pray. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless His most being. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And do not forget all His benefits. Hallelujah.